All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey Dows of Eye of the Veda. I'm a Vedic astrologer. Today I want to do a little book review because, you know, right now it is July of 2020. There's still a lot of concerns about health. The pandemic is still ongoing. If you're watching this in the future, hopefully we've, we're all good by now, by the time you're watching this. But this book here is a really great book to get your foundations of health and wellness from the yogic perspective, the Jyotish, the Vedic perspective. <clears throat> it's called An Easy Guide to Ayurveda, The Natural Way to Wholeness by Roy Eugene Davis, a direct disciple of Paramahansa Yogananda. <sighs> well, that says it all right there because you really want to go to people who are actually self-realized or very close to being self-realized to get you know, good advice in general, right? And so this book's just a really great, simple book that it was one of the first, I think, yeah, it was the first book I read on Ayurveda. And it was incredibly helpful, incredibly, like, clear and simple. Roy Davis has an, you know, he's been spending his entire life in super conscious samadhi. I mean, the guy, like, he passed away, but, you know, he would wake up at, like, 3 a.m. and just be in samadhi until, like, 6. And then he would write, you know, like, 10 pages of a book and then he would he was just the most productive person it was really amazing his whole routine you know by the time I had woken up he had already done more than I would do in the entire day um, this guy he lived this you know he really lived this lifestyle and you can tell you know go to his Wikipedia page he's written like he wrote like thir an entire massive literary corpus he was still a I mean he taught all around the world internationally he traveled around the world he taught yoga for over 60 years, and he stayed in really good health, and he lived till he was 90. You know, he was still glowing and radiant, even at, you know, 89 years old. So, this is a great book, and it's, what I like about it is that it really gives you a lot more of the spiritual emphasis. Uh, when you really understand that you are pure consciousness, everything healing and everything from health and wellness comes from the inside out. And this book really reinforces that. Um, so there's also some really simple, clear chapters that I'll explain, or that I'll, you know, give you guys a preview of. Basic principles and practices and routines. This is what every Ayurveda book has. Your little fill out your questionnaire, learn about pizza routines, kapha routines, vata routines, guidelines to understanding it. That's more of that. Choosing foods and that balance it. Your constitution. The whole, the basic idea of Ayurveda is that what's good for you is maybe not good for me. Each person has a different inborn constitution determined actually by the birth chart and the five elements and the arrangement of the planets and everything. And that that determines that certain things are going to be better for them than they are for another person. And so Ayurveda is very big on the saying, it's not necessarily what symptoms you're having, but what type of person is having those symptoms. Um, and then he goes, it goes into routines for fin uh, physical and mental cleansing, and the last chapter is really cool, Rejuvenation, Enlightened Living, and Conscious Immortality. That's the most important chapter. Um, then you also have a really cool appendix that goes into the inner world of colors. You know, what does the, what, what does it, you know, does, does wearing the color black a lot versus wearing the color white have an influence on your psyche? Of course it does, and this Ayurveda goes into all that. Um, it even goes into gemstones, how light is produced, um, and it just explains all these things in a really crystal clear way. Um, yeah, so this, the inner world of gemstones is a really interesting chapter, and then it kind of touches on some of the astrology stuff in there, but very simple, basic stuff. So, I highly recommend this book. Oh, the other great thing is that it's only like five dollars. And yeah, another amazing thing about Roy was that he created his own publishing company. So like all of his work, all of his books are so cheap and so affordable and they're just so dense in wisdom. And he had an exalted Jupiter delighting his Lagna Lord in the ninth house. So, you know, he was really blessed with uh, some having the great guru Yogananda and Jupiter also has lots with writing and publishing. And so he wrote quite a bit. So a lot of his works are really good. And they're just really underrated. <clears throat> um, I've read dozens of books on Ayurveda, and this one is probably 
was the most practical. Um, one more thing about Ayurveda. So at this current time, we are dealing with this whole idea of the virus. There's just this one bad virus. You've got to stay away from it, wear a mask, do all this social distance. All this new, honestly, that, that, that kind of framework worked a hundred years ago when doctors really were able to administer antibiotics, kill a certain bacteria, and then watch the population, the life expectancy rise. If I was a doctor a hundred years ago and I had watched how much people had changed through the use of antibiotics and how much better the world had gotten better, then yeah, I might be, I might have really been a big advocate of that too. But nowadays that's not the way the world is and the world is actually, most people are not dying from communicable diseases. Seven out of ten people die from non-communicable non diseases now, like chronic diseases, just like inflammation, heart disease, obesity. These are the actual things that are killing people, and those all come down to lifestyle and routine and the way you live, which is what Ayurveda and Chinese medicine, all the natural systems are all about. So these are the ones you want to go with um, for the future. Don't let all this talk of virus stuff scare you. And then here's the other thing, is that now all this new research into the microbiome is kind of totally contradicting this whole old notion that ooh, there's certain bacteria we just got to get away from those and get the good ones like the good probiotics right see even in the wellness world there's still this incredibly linear way of looking at it stay away from the bad stuff get the good stuff boost your immune system just always be boosting the immunity always always gojis flax chia seeds blah, blah. That's not the way to be healthy. I'm sorry, you guys, but that's not. You might actually wreck. You can get. A, you can have a hyperactive immune system and have problems for that just as much. So, balance is key, and Ayurveda is all about balance. They really teach you how to be in balance with your own doshas and your own constitution, which is unique and only you can determine. Though a proper jyotishi or you know, vaidya or physician can help you with this. The other interesting thing is that like they have taken, they've done studies where they've taken the microbiome of obese mice and put that and extracted that and put that into the microbiome of healthy mice and those healthy mice got obese. So your microbiome, your gut health, your, your agni, your metabolism, this is what really, really determines whether you're going to be able to survive a virus or not. And yeah, you're going to want to go with Ayurveda's approach uh, or the natural systems approach over the mainstream medical approach. I'm just going to say that because they're still working with this really flawed idea that we just have to find the one virus, the one bad guy and eliminate it. But it's not about that when they've really, the newest research, the newest studies of the microbiome are finding that actually it's all about just having the right proportion and right ratios of all of these bacteria, some bad, some good, some viruses. A healthy system can actually have coronaviruses and will have it in them at any time. And it's only stress and other things that would actually activate and cause it to cause the problems. So it's all about not even just like having one good thing like lactobacillus or whatever or, or one good supplement. It's about how you live. It's about your the, the balance, the proportion of all these gut bacteria and all the stuff within your microbiome which is made up of some viruses some bacteria you know all kinds of things it's actually funny because it's made up of you know food and particulates and earth and the microbiome is the seat is where your fire and your agni and your metabolism comes from well agni is mars mars is kuja kuja is literally a word that ku means earth ja means born born from the earth so mars is the fire that is born from the earth you can't have a fire without having a stable earth to burn off of, the wood. But in the same way, you can't have healthy metabolism, healthy agni fire, if you don't have proper wood, earth, microbiome, proper gut stuff, the right proportion of little bacterial and stuff all in your gut. You see, so that's what Mars must be born from. And so this is why they've actually done studies where they found that, wow, kids that, you know, babies that grow up with cats and dogs in the house, are actually healthier because they get exposed to other bacteria. Those dogs are out running around and bringing back some weird other forms of life and sharing them and that's actually helping us. So 
The most recent research on Ayurveda or on science and the microbiome has actually strongly validated Ayurveda and this whole idea of different doshas because different ratios of bacteria are like better for different people and they work. So basically you can be healthy with a lot of different proportions and different types of ratios of the microbiome, thus implying that there's different constitutions or ways of being in health. And there's not just one state of health for everyone. Um, anyways, this is getting a little too in depth. I've been studying a, a Robert Svoboda Ayurveda course in the microbiome myself. If you want to learn more about it, you might enjoy that course as well. Um, hope that gives you guys some food for thought. Um, Check out that book, and that could be a good introduction to Ayurveda. Take care. Ariyom.